Cheers and welcome my friends, I'm Aratrak and we are playing Eroponymous Solus 4 with the newest DLC, Golden Century as Venice. Welcome back to our campaign. So we've been chaining war after war after war. We're gonna go for a peace treaty with the Mamluks now, I think. So uh, when our when our diplomat is back, we'll have like two diplomats going back and forth. We're still doing the relation improvement, which is actually pretty helpful in terms of staying um, out of coalitions, so like, be clever enough in that regard to Im improve relations. If you if you set them right, go for neighboring countries and outrage countries. You can avoid a lot of people joining coalitions because they will have too good an opinion of you. So we'll, we'll like change a war against the Ottomans um, into this war, and we we'll also attack the Yemen. Which is gonna be whoa! Look at that. Ethiopia just broke away. The Yemen is like screwed now. I mean, that kind of screws with my plans because I wanted to make Ethiopia into my vassal, but it's not that much of a problem if it allows me to like neuter the Yemen right now. Then that will be fine. Trading and coffee happened, so we have more institution spread. I like that. Um, yeah, so we, we need to take a peace treaty with the uh, Mamluks now. Um, so what will we do? Give that to Karaman. Give these to the Byzantine Empire. Uh, yeah, I mean, that, that's going to be a coalition that will form against us here. Pretty sure. I'll take the war goal. I probably should take like all these desert provinces. Although they're not necessarily all that important. Hmm, I want to take the castle over here. I really want my vassals connected. I really want them connected so that we can march through all the way from Venice down here to Egypt. And we also control the whole coastline. We'll do this. So the Mamluks are cut into multiple pieces now. <laughs> and maybe we'll do this. Nah, I think this looks good. Azrak. So that is that is a lot of aggressive expansion for sure. Um, but it's only the usual suspects that will be bad about this. I don't think we can take any land from the Ottomans um, if we do this, but that's fine, I'd say. Yeah, that is that is okay. We'll, we'll take this. Um, Byzantium is going to be happy, will owe me favors, the knight's going to be happy, and Caraman is going to be happy. We could give Caraman more lands over here if we wanted to, but this place, this stuff is going to come to us eventually, so it's not, it's not a huge, not a huge deal. Okay. So Venetian conquest of Kaffa, we immediately have Damascus and other places. Um, good. So I still haven't decided on what kind of ID group I want to take. <clears throat> yeah. Super difficult. We'll just we'll just keep playing and I'll keep thinking about it. It's it's difficult. Okay, so the knights knights are no longer a march. That is unfortunate, but it shouldn't really cause too many problems. I mean, else this was always bound to happen. We can probably live without the expansion ideas, but 20% additional global trade power. It's like a lot of money. I think we'll do it. I think we'll do it. We can still think about doing the other stuff later down the line. I think expansion ideas is the best way to move forward for us. Now we have a colonist. We need to choose a native policy. Um, native uprising chance. I think we'll just go native coexistence. I think this is pretty fine, so they, they'll never rise up against us. I think we'll just, like, we'll, we'll colonize these places. 
Oh, this actually belongs to Coromandel. Nice. Okay, let's send our uh, let's send our colonists over here. If I can get more Coromandel places, that's gonna be okay. That's also Coromandel. Interesting Christmas Islands. Good, I take it. We'll see what we get from the expansion from the expansion stuff, but this also means that I have to push for for admin points. We'll go like this. Which should allow us to breeze through the idea group fairly quickly, I hope. Okay, this is ours now. We'll just take their places here. Really wish I could give this to a trade company. I don't want to hold it on my own, but I guess I have no choice. It's gnarly. On the other hand, I mean, we're not having a lot of problems with holding on to uh, our Republican tradition just because we don't have elections all that much. And if we go for, like, lottery, we can just ignore that altogether. We have 139 force limit now. Do we get any manpower from our vassals? Doesn't look like it. Okay, that's fine then. That's okay, we can live with this. No coalitions have formed as of yet. There's Shervin troops. Oi, Naples. Oh yeah, they're actually coming. Good thing is people can now, our vassals can now march all the way across. Although Austria is still a bit of a problem, but they will probably give our vassals military access. And they're giving me military access, which should allow all my vassals military access. Right. Gives the Neapolitan war ally Venice access. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. They should. They should be. They should be fine. France could probably use some relationship top off. We're getting all these um, Eastern music tracks now because we have the provinces there, which is kind of funny. So they send the colonists over here. Making a lot of money. I kind of probably want to send colonists out over here as quickly as possible. To get stuff going. I um, also want to put down more universities though. We really need those. And we really need to develop our home provinces. Okay, won the Siege of Nejran. Um, split this army. I want to avoid taking too many... Too many losses here. Too much manpower loss. Mara, Fars, and Azuran. Yeah, we, we, we kind of have to go after Azuran, I guess, after this. My vassals can march all the way through, though, so... Do we want to take more trade provinces from Azuran? Like, they have two down here. Hobio and Mogadishu. I mean, if I have the others, I might as well take those, right? <laughs> Is there any country that I that I can free and make my my vassal so that I can feed some of these? Ethiopia would have probably been good. Yeah, they're, they're way too big to become a vassal now. They might just be eaten by Kafa and then we'll, like, um, kick him out. I can always own these provinces as territories, too. Okay, so let's go with another merchant. Sure, take that. So, one of 11. I think it's time to send a merchant over here. Transport trade power. Francesca Morosini. Okay, we're occupying Damar now. Oh, these guys are at war with us. Okay, interesting. We'll probably have to do something with them. Ragusa has now embraced global trade. I really wish there was 
a way for me to give the knowledge sharing to someone else. Ah, uh, losing stability. That's not ideal. Especially now that we can't really... What the heck? Really? Why is no one stopping these fools? Influential trading family in Alexandria. Sure, we'll, we'll take that. I probably have to ferry some troops over here. Yeah, but we can now basically run uh, via land back home if we need it. They're destroying the prosperity in my home provinces. Pisses me off. Well, we can just piece them out. What do you want? Money. Money or reparations. Yeah, that's that's about all I want, really. Just go away. That's fine. So now it's just the Ottomans. So we already own this. Yeah, we'll probably want to separate piece these guys out. Ah, we can separate piece out Fars now. Very good. Hey, very well done, knights. I I appreciate that. Money, more operations, trade power. Trade League of Yaz has been disbanded. Don't care all that much. So who do we still need? Mara, Ajaran. So we could we could probably go after Mara ourselves if we wanted to. Hmm. So the question if we don't just like change the whole coast if we already add it. Like why leave the others? We do want to give it to the knights. Uh, give the occupation to the knights. 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 This should allow me to basically give all the provinces that I don't want to hold myself to the knights. Even over here. Maybe we'll just, like... Maybe we won't use Ethiopia and we'll just ever give everything to the knights. That could be fine. Also, is no longer a great power. Really? <clears throat> We're number two great power now, worldwide. We have a thousand development together with our vassals. That is impressive, I'd say. Mm, yeah, Austria still has problems with the uh, uh, Dutch separatists. That's not going to go away for quite a while. <laughs> like they fought an 80 years long war. Just to get that stuff done, so yeah. Nah, actually, well, we can just like do this. Uh, this looks good. I mean, our vassals are doing a lot of work here. I like it. Send you over to Arden. This takes a long while. In 38, we're going to be done changing that culture. That's that's a long time. It's only 19 development, too. Ooh, yes. Catholic in Dalmatia. Let's do it. Like, right now. So, colonists. Hello. We'll give this to the to our trade company right away, I think. I don't wanna <clears throat> I don't wanna hold it. Recall this recall this colonist. No Spain, you evil bastard. Ugh. Oh This is Portugal. Spain. Yeah, we gotta we gotta be quick here, I guess. They are over here. And they are willing to do things. I will not let them though. 
Oh damn, these guys are fighting. Ah, oh, they're fighting Bamanus. It's not good. That would have been our way in, maybe. Bengal would like to be our friend, though, at this point. We are at war, but otherwise this could work out. I'm not sure. We'll see. Venetian Coromandel Company coinage. Local merchants in Velonadu have complained to the Venetian Coromandel Company about a lack of coinage stifling the flow of trade. The company has been given permission by the Serene Doge to issue its own currency, allowing the foundation of mints in provinces under its control. Minting, of course, requires a supply of appropriate metal. Gold, silver and bronze are not always re readily available to the company. An alternative source of coinage would be to accumulate coins from Bomanus and countermark them with the company stamp. This would likely anger the Sultan of Bomanus, who would see this as a defacement of his image. So... Do we just... Go for more coins for more trade value or go for inflation reduction. Uh, I think I'd like to have the, the, the higher trade value there. I think that's that's just better. It's just flat out better. How much how much debt do we have? Just one loan? So okay, so now we have no more loans and we're also reducing our inflation. I like that a lot. I do like that a lot, I gotta say. So, let's go Istria here, uh, with the university. Basically all the provinces that I'm planning on, on keeping. So Caraman decided to stay home and do something really useful. The other guys are just running around here. Attritioning me. I'm not too happy about that, I gotta say. <laughs> I mean, taking these trade provinces from Azuron, I don't know. I mean, we can always fabricate on them. The question is, how would I protect those places? Do I even need to protect them? Like, yes, I do have ships, so... And how important is this? Ah, oh, man, we're, we're really forwarding a lot of trade at this point. And there's still, like, a bunch going to Zanzibar, which doesn't make me too happy. Whoa, look at this. We're already forwarding 42 to Venice now. So that actually makes Alexandria super important. And that, in turn, makes the Gulf of Arden super important. I think that might be down to... <clears throat> us actually having merchants in these provinces too now, even just like having a little trade power is probably still helpful enough. Sure, I mean we can we can deal with these we can deal with these lands. It's okay. Currently have 18 settlers. <clears throat> It's gonna be expensive if I go for too many um, colonies. Stop improving with France. Okay, one more sieges. I don't think we want to go after Azuron right now. I think it might be better to just make these places into. So unfortunate that we didn't manage to catch Ethiopia sooner. These guys are an empire, apparently. Really? Are we ready to become an empire as of yet? No. We have 588. The rest of the development is in our vassals, I guess. With Castilian? Where's... where's... Which provinces in my country have Castilian? Zero, 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 zero. That's weird though. I think cultures isn't diplomatic. Or is it geographical? Political? Really? Cultures? Okay. So where do I have Castilian in my... Oh, in Obino! Right. That's weird that this is Castilian. We 
gonna flip it. Original culture of Urbino. I could just flip it back, I guess. <clears throat> we are accepting this, I guess. Are we accepting Umbrian? No, but it's like in our culture group. These guys are still Catholic, but they have a lot of foreign provinces. We could actually help them do some some fairly heavy missionary work. I'm thinking about that. Like we have to uh, one missionary that we're not using. Let me just see. Include subjects. Naxos, Ibea. Do we want more more Catholic states here? I mean, we want more, want more stable states. So we'll help the knights first, and then we'll, we'll like try to help the others. <clears throat> okay, that's done. We only need Bolu now. Probably already separate piece these dudes. Oh wait, 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 wait! They have a trade province over here in Hormus. Well, actually, Hormus isn't all that important for us, right? We would need some more in Basra to make sure that it doesn't go to Persia. But I think this is more important, Gujarat. Yeah, I don't think it's worth it. Done improving with Bengal. I think we might just attack Azuran at some other point in time. Although... I, mean, I can just take these lands and just not make it into uh, proper states. And just ignore it. Marahan, what are you? Would you be willing to become a vassal? Almost. The Sultanate. Distance between borders. Oh man. What are your ideas? Somali traditions. Less infantry cost, more trade steering. Less light ship costs. National manpower. Infantry combat ability. That sounds like a pretty good march over here. So Somali traditions. They have offensive ideas too. Maybe we'll just try to suck up to these guys. Make them our vassal. It is like vassals are gonna be the way that we expand here. <clears throat> oh wait, is that no that's also not a not an important province. Okay, then. No, I think we're fine here. I don't think we want to take any more. Msoa has been annexed by Bermanis. Bermanis is getting scarily powerful. Scarily powerful. And they're still my enemy. If I'm quite honest, I'm not sure how we're going to expand more into India. Uh, unless we use someone like Bengal, actually, to pull them against uh, against Bermanis. Yeah, they like they want they want lands. We could just pull Bengal in there. Oh what are, what is the strength here? Oh this is navies, armies. Is Bengali been on the first page? Yeah they have forty thousand troops. Persia has forty thousand and they're allied with Bermanis. <clears throat> Bermanis now has a hundred and seven 107,000. I mean, we could we could build more troops. The problem is they're probably gonna die if I chuck them all onto Velonadu. I don't know. I don't know. Let's 
So Ottomans want out. I haven't really decided what I want to take from them. And we could just completely take them. Would anyone care? Not very likely. Uh, flip this to Byzantium, flip this to Byzantium. We have to be a little bit careful with Byzantium. They might not... They might not stay super loyal. They're losing money though, which should allow me to maybe pay off debt at some point. Once they have to take on debt, they have a treasury of 266, so if it goes on... Hmm, Byzantium has a permanent claim on this province. Yeah, they have claims on all of this. <laughs> they also have claims on a bunch of other stuff. We just destroy the Ottomans. Just get rid of them. I don't think we can even 100% them. No, we can. Azuran, Coalition. The Ottomans are going to be gone. Yemen, Akayunlu, Mara, Parma, Spain, Modena. I think most of these guys are actually bothered because Genoa is still here. So we'll get rid of that. We might not even. Might not even care too much. So, would result in the annexation or vassalization? Maybe we'll just do this and finish him off. Like, if Byzantium becomes too powerful, uh, what could we really do though? Like, if we look at this, so 81%. From 305 development. If we give them that, we're gonna add a lot more development to them. Like, if we didn't have the placated ruler modifier at this point, they would actually already be unhappy with us. 10, 15, 34, um, 42, 52, 58 additional development. We'll give them what they have claims on. Sure. Uh, wait, no, wait. We'll, we'll flip Amazia. Flip it to Caravan. Is that still something that they could that they could call? No, they can't. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so we're done improving with Marahan. That is that went that was quick. They're really not happy with our aggressive expansion here. Um, Seventy-two versus eighty-nine. I mean, we can we can influence them. Seventy-three versus eighty-nine. It's gonna be difficult to get this done. Yeah, maybe I'm just not gonna care too much about this. If I if I build up these three trade power provinces that I have up north, I actually have one, two, three, four. If I make them into proper cores, then uh, 
we should be able to easily control the Gulf of Arden and we don't have to really care about all the other stuff. Unless they start to annoy me, then we maybe go after them. Or if uh, another European country goes for them. But other than that, I don't think it's too much of a problem. So I guess peace treaties with these guys would be good. So Mara, listen. Peace here is, is a good idea. So listen, uh, give me all your money. Give me your trade power and war operations. Hmm. This looks good. Like we're gonna be more merciful than we thought, but that's fine. Okay. And then here, Yemen. We'll we'll take all these. <laughs> The chances for a coalition are getting bigger and bigger and bigger. This is gonna annoy Kazakh, Persia. But it's still just the same old people that don't have a lot of power. So I guess we're not gonna care too much. I'm gonna say no. Why? Demands exceed war score. So we actually have to go after Azeron. There's no other way. Wait, this cannot make it a core. Oh yeah, I would have probably have to like flip this all to the knights. Like at this point, if we t if we take the other provinces, why not give them those desert provinces too and just get rid of the Yemen, or like rather make the Yemen a one province minor down here <laughs> and over here a little bit. That will probably be fine. But yeah, I guess I have to end it at this point. Uh, next time we'll probably have to go after Azeron with all our vassals. I think that's going to be a good thing. Hope you join me for that. Thanks. Bye-bye.